so I am currently on a nice little run um, waiting on a couple of family members here is my view absolutely beautiful um, yeah not sure where we're going next but time will tell <laughs> my brother is currently helping my sister up off the slope because she fell and our skis are a little bit stuck <laughs> but I think she's up and good to go I am currently on Rattanift I'm waiting for my dad and brother to come down they're on like a slalom track at the moment um, which runs next to this little bus in this. Um, can't see them. If I manage to catch them, I will show you. I'm sorry for the horrendous lighting. I have had breakfast, but I forgot to film it. Porridge. Um, breakfast of champions. Plan this morning is I'm going to go and change my ski boots because I got some brand tools that may really hurt my ankle. Um, I, thought was, I thought maybe I'm being dramatic when I was skiing because they're never like super duper comfy, but. I took them off and it was a bit swollen and bruised, so I thought, oh, maybe I should get some new ones. So I'm going to get to pick some new ones up this morning. And I'm actually going to have a lesson this morning because I can ski, but I haven't skied in six years. And I skied yesterday absolutely fine. I uh, really enjoyed it. But just for a confidence boost, I'm going to have a quick lesson uh, with my sister. And then, yeah, we will go from there. I am all loads up. It is currently minus six. Helmet, gloves, goggles. The current view is lovely. Walking to change my boots currently. Um, car decided just to drive over crossing whilst I was on it. Nearly got run over. It is now time for lunch. I cannot wait. I'm starving. Just skied for three hours. Uh, finding something for lunch is proving difficult. We can't decide what we want to eat and there's nothing at the restaurants around that anyone wants to eat. So I think it's going to be a snack bar. We are currently trying to find our way home. Um, slightly not lost, but trying to find the correct route home because the lifts are shut now. I am currently walking. To the slopes, it is 8.40, 20 to 9. Here is the current outfit. Um, here is my view. Oh, let me turn the camera around. There is my view. Lovely, the sun's starting to come in over the mountains. I'm taking a different route. And I'm hoping it brings me out by the same place. Because normally I would go like up and round and down, but then I was walking and I was like, surely I'd come out same place if I just didn't go up and down, up and round. So I don't know, so you can't hear me. I don't know if I will come out in the same place or not. Let's hope so, because I need to be meeting my dad at nine. We're gonna go and do some, we're gonna go to the other side of the mountain today and do some runs, final day of skiing today. Um, literally, oh, I can't wait to get on the slopes. Here is the little town that I'm walking through. It's really cute. Um, I do see someone with skis over there. So I'm hoping if I follow him, I will come out in the correct place. Look how pretty with the church and the mountains. I love it. Look at all that little town square. I know where I am, you know, because I'm pretty sure I've walked through here before with my skis because we went the wrong way one time. I had to take the skis off. Um, I think if I go through this walkway and down these stairs, if there's stairs coming up, then I think I'm in the correct place. Okay, I'm just that good. I am correct. I have found it. I am here. I'll show you. Here are the stairs. I was on about. And where I need to go is just over there. Because that's where our skis and stuff are. That's where we've got a locker. Funny enough, I've just seen my dad and sister walk in. So it's definitely quicker because I have, um, I left off way after them and I'm here one minute after. So um, it's definitely a quicker route. Look, gondolas and everything. And I'm here. Hey. I am on the bus lift again. Um, 
last day today unfortunately someone has actually taken my mum's skis so we rented all our skis and she left them just on the ski like on the rack whilst we had some lunch and come back and they're gone so i'm not sure if someone's picked up hers thinking they were theirs um because there was a pair that were kind of similar in color um so i guess it could have been that uh, or if someone's just kind of decided they were going to have those ones i don't know it's odd because i don't know how someone's taken them because i not noticed because surely their boots don't clip into the bindings properly unless they happen to be the exact same size could be the case but let's hope they either get returned or um we have got insurance on it so hopefully that covers it but we will see i am back from skiing now um so little update on the skis still not 100% sure what's happening but basically there was a pair of skis the one i was saying is similar color that was left they were then there for hours and they had the name of the shop they were being rented from on them so we took them into the shop just out of interest and we're like oh you know when are these getting returned like sort of thing because we think someone might have accidentally picked up the wrong ones you know could be wrong um it turns out they are getting returned today so hopefully someone has just picked up those wrong ones um i've returned my skis and boots and stuff we've obviously spoken to our shop about it um and we're going to give it to the end of the day when they shut which is i think at six o'clock um and if they do get returned in that time fabulous we don't get charged if they don't then we might but they've actually they've given us a decent price for the circumstances but they said it happens all the time um but i could be wrong but my gut's kind of telling me it was just a pure accident but i could be wrong okay update on the skis another one they've been returned <laughs> um so it was what we thought it was um in terms of someone had picked up the wrong skis not quite sure how they skied for probably over four hours in the wrong skis and didn't notice but hey i guess it happens um you know of course it's frustrating but oh, i thought that was a lie <laughs> of course it's frustrating for my mum because uh, she took it so well but she didn't get to ski today at all and it's the final day because she wasn't going to ski until lunchtime because she had quite a bit of stuff to do this morning um and my sister was in like ski lessons and stuff so like she was kind of sorting some stuff out she just thought you know i'll get a whole afternoon in of skiing of course puts her skis out go for lunch come back from uh it was an honest mistake you know the person apologized <laughs> still frustrating though because you know my poor mum didn't get to ski as i said and a whole lift pass that wasn't used. But I guess what can you do about it? There's nothing you can do. Like I can, I can stand here and complain. First of all, it didn't even happen to me. Second of all, it's just not. Um, there's no point worth stressing now because you can't do anything about it. But it's worked out for the best because it means we don't have to pay for a pair of skis as well. And everyone gets their skis back. <laughs> um, that the person's skis are returned as well. So, because we took them um that's why we did it because we were like they're defo boats because we waited about three hours and the skis were still there but yeah update it's the evening dinner time we went out trying to go for dinner must have gone to at least 10 places every single place is booked up um we thought surely there'll be somewhere else not booked no worries we don't need to book no no we were very much incorrect um so my dad and brother are currently going, <laughs> going to pick us up a takeaway I think I'm having a kebab like wrap of some sort and some chips, so that'll be nice. Um, but I mean, it's heaving. There's so many people. We think there's been some form of like a bent on. I'm not sure whether that's skiing, running, I'm not sure, but they've all got numbers on. So there's definitely been some form of event. Um, so that's probably part of the reason it's so busy. I don't know. But I am waiting for the food to come because I'm so hungry. I feel as though. I am going to be hangry shortly, which isn't good for anyone. So it is the morning of our flight. It's currently 8 a.m. so it's time to leave. Had a bit of an issue with the car this morning, but it's okay. We got it sorted. Um, the sun is rising, I shall have to show you that in a minute. But yeah, about to head off to the airport. Here you can see the sun is rising over the little village. 
absolutely beautiful.